My name is Alex and I'm going to show you how to draw landscapes in Photoshop. So I'm going to start off with my blank canvas here. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add a couple layers. And the reason I'm doing that is because when you're drawing a landscape, you have to keep in mind that you need your background, your foreground. And those need to be on separate layers because, for example, I'm going to start by drawing my valley slash hill here. And I'm going to go ahead and actually bring my paint size up a bit because then I can cover more area. Um, and if you really don't want to have that bumpiness, which I mean, I personally don't mind, but you know, I actually am going to be picky about it today. I'm going to use the freeform pen tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw my little valley. And just go all the way around. And then right click. Fill path with your foreground color. Say OK. Right click, delete path. So here's your first layer. And this is going to help you just first figure out your foreground. And in this case, I'm drawing a mountainous valley. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my next layer, pick a slightly lighter color because it's in the background. And just, you can draw pretty much any shape underneath your first shape because it's not going to be seen. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm doing the exact same thing I did. And then I'm going to go to the next one underneath and draw it slightly lighter. And then delete path. OK, so now I've got my range of hills here. And I'm actually going to redraw that last hill because I want it to be kind of like this. Okay, so now we've got our foreground slash background, but the real back, and what I'm going to do is actually merge these layers. And then I'm going to create two new layers. And since this is the foreground, essentially, I'm putting it all the way on the top. And literally what I'm going to do, just to make this a little bit faster, I'm going to make a gradient in the background. So I'm going to go to the gradient tool, which is on, uh, above the paint bucket tool. Pick your two colors. And so here's my sky. I'm going to use that as my sky. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use the freeform pen tool and start drawing some mountains. And mountains are actually surprisingly really easy to draw. Um, all you really have to do is just kind of make sure that they've got nice bumps. So if you've ever been to a mountainous place like you know Vermont or anywhere out um, in New Hampshire, you've seen mountains and so it sometimes helps to have a reference photo if you don't know mountains. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead. And the cool thing with the freeform pen tool, um, I should probably mention, is that you can draw multiple, if you're using the same color, you can draw multiple things at once. So I'm going to go ahead and fill path, OK. And as you see, now it filled both of those shapes. And so I'm going to delete my path. And then I'm going to make a slightly lighter mountain range in the background, just for that sort of distancey kind of. Delete my path. And then at this point, um, this is just so for your shapes. So I, I'm not going to go into shading, but it's. It, if you do decide to shade, just keep in mind where your light is coming from. And just a quick little tip, um, if you decide you do want to add some lighting effects, which I normally would do, my best, the best way I can help myself to figure out where my light is coming from is just to draw an extra layer on top, on the very top layer, and just do something like this, where you now know where the light source is coming from, even though the, the gradient suggests it's coming from underneath. So you would actually do it more like this. But um, you know, depending on where you decide you want your light source coming from. So that way, if I decide to shade this here, I can do it like this. I can grab a darker color. And I now know where my light source is coming from. So then I can just kind of add the shading there. My name is Alex, and this is how you draw landscapes in Photoshop. 
Thanks for watching.